I just obsess over the little details. A perfectionist with a vision. I'm just trying to uh, darken the shadow area. Each brushstroke has a purpose as Chris Tynan works on his latest painting of his niece Gemma hugging a dog. I want to inspire people. Tynan's art appears to imitate life. It's mostly still lifes, pumpkins, tomatoes, seasonal landscapes. I tend to lean towards realism just because I overthink things. And like his art, Tynan is constantly evolving. I'm still learning. Every day is a learning process. He works in his home studio for hours each day with his faithful dog, Cooch. Uh, Tammy, give me that blending brush. And his friend, Tammy Lynch. Chris is her boss, her neighbor, and so much more. He's not only a work for Chris, but he's also my best friend. And he's my kid's uncle. A special bond. Love you. I love you too. And, uh, and a heartbreaking journey. I just think we've been through a lot together. We've been, you know, he was in the hospital and he almost died. Chris Tynan can't use his arms or legs. When he was 16 years old, a jump into a pool changed his life. We had an above ground uh, basketball. One of my friends took a shot, it bounced off the rim and it didn't actually come near me, but it bounced in my general direction and it distracted me. I didn't arc my back to, you know, execute a shallow dive. Growing up in Texas, he was an active boy in search of adventure. Anytime there was a creek or a river or a lake or a pond nearby, I was there. And then a typical teen craving freedom. I, mean, I liked girls. I, I hated rules. And, you know, I couldn't wait to get out of the house. His childhood dream was to be a comic book artist or a tattoo designer, a dream that seemed impossible after that tragic day. It just seemed like I was raging against a storm that was never going to relent. And it was like, if it doesn't give, then I might as well. He broke his neck in four places and spent three years recovering in bed. Alcohol helped numb the pain. But when Tynan hit rock bottom, his mom played a voicemail he left her. I heard what kind of person I was turning into uh, with my depression. It was humiliating. I couldn't. I was At that point, I was just, I didn't care anymore. I just figured I was going to rot away in my apartment. I would die. His own words forced him to quit drinking, to start living again. All right, Bubba. So he got cooch and moved to California. It was also his mother who encouraged him to find a new way to create art, but it wasn't easy. Did not feel good to see what I was producing the first couple times. This was his first piece, a butterfly with three powerful words, never give up. If you don't hit that wall and push right through it and keep on the project and see it to its end, then you're just going to have a lifetime full of half completed projects, you know, and you're never going to ever see what you're capable of. After 18 years, he's found his purpose. I don't want to be a good disabled artist. I want to be a good artist. So every day in his studio, Tynan perfects his craft. I am like everybody else, a, uh, a work in progress. Every moment is uh, you know, an opportunity to learn. Despite his limitations, he's determined to evolve, grow, and thrive, one gentle brushstroke at a time. In Sacramento, Allie Wolf, Fox 40 News. What an inspiration. Tynan is on scholarship with the Association of Mouth and Foot Painters. His work is available through the organization's website and on Tynan's personal website, which you can find on fox40.com. We've also posted more of the raw interview on our website. Just look for this story there.